Hey everyone, welcome back for a little TLC. We are officially in our series titled, It Ain't There, <laughs> um, where we'll be talking about phrases or quotes or sayings that we use that actually aren't in the Bible, at least based on my research, but I'm happy for you all to correct me if you find something, if you find something that I have seem to have missed. So the first phrase we're gonna be talking about is when the praises go up, the blessings come down. Let's get into it. All right, so when the praises go up, the blessings come down. I mean, it sounds nice, right? When we praise the Lord, all these showers of blessings will come our way. I know there's a song by Chance the Rapper that I listen to that I think that's literally the title of the song. If it's not the title of the song, I know it's it's the chorus. Um, so, I mean, we, we've said this or we've heard this, but when I looked in the scripture, it's not there. And I even got kind of overwhelmed looking on Google, just trying to find like where this... Um, saying comes from people listed a lot of scriptures where they try to say that we can get it from here um, so I remember seeing Psalm 67 in there I remember seeing Psalm 133 and just some other texts where people tried to piece it together but it just was not clicking for me at all and really when I think about it um, I'm not sure that that is a concept that that I've seen um, play out in my life where just because I praise the Lord, he is obligated to bless me. That's not, um, I don't know, like I know like obedience, um, like blessings come with obedience, but praising, I, I'm not sure about that. I don't even know if that necessarily feels good to me to even say, um, like I praised you Lord, so you better bless me. <laughs> like I, I don't know, something about that feels weird. I do think that there are scriptures though that talk about why we should praise the Lord. Um, so one that I thought about in particular um, comes out of Psalm 150, where it says in the New International Version, um, praise him for his acts of power, praise him for his surpassing greatness. And then later on in the text, it says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Um, and so, I mean, I think that we have reasons to praise God and we should praise God that are not attached to him blessing us. It's great that he does that, but because God is God, he deserves our praise anyway. And so the more that I thought about this particular phrase, the more kind of like icky it made me feel because I want to praise God because he is God, because of all the things that he does, because of who he is, um, not because I want him to bless me. Blessings are great, but that isn't the reason why I praise him. So let me know what you all think about this. That's super short. I imagine all these videos will be short because it ain't there. <laughs> but um, but if you happen to find this scripture somewhere and I've just like missed the grand text in the Bible that says when the praises go up, the blessings come down, please let me know that in the comments. Um, does this phrase make you feel icky or are you kind of like okay with it? Because, you know, I'm a bit radical, so it might not be as deep as I'm making it seem. I love to know what you all think about this, and I will see you next time for a little TLC. Bye-bye.